All right, welcome back, everybody. South Africa's award-winning novelist and playwright, Zeke Zimda, is one of the most sought-after African writers. His timeless storytelling continues to contribute to the continent's rich literacy heritage. He recently toured some of South Africa's cities with other South African authors as part of the Department of Arts and Culture's Africa Month Literary Program. Zeke Zimda joins us in studio to tell us more about his amazing work. What a pleasure. Wow. It's a great pleasure. So Adrian. nice to see you and welcome yeah, to the program. Yes, yes. I think this is the tenth time you have interviewed me. I think it is, but it, it feels like it's been a while. You haven't visited it us in quite a while. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. It has. It really has. So mm. you've been travelling. You've been a very, very busy man. Oh, at the moment. I've been travelling with other writers, yeah. and it was wonderful. Oh. First, we went to Kimberley at Sol Plache University, and we had a wonderful, wonderful time there with uh, two other writers, Amanda Langa and uh, Eusebius Makaiser. Yes. And uh, every time, you know, we, we had full houses. And then from there, I went to Bloemfontein. And from Bloemfontein to Grahamstown, again there, you know, the aud auditorium was full. I mean, it was like a rock concert, you know. Wow. It is so amazing how crowds, you know, great crowds like that, just people there to listen to, to, to writers, to enjoy literature, you see. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, what are your observations? Because if you're saying it's like rock stars and these places are full, yeah. um, do you find or are you finding that African literature is helping building our continent? Is the appreciation oh, yes. growing? Uh, yes. In South, in South Africa, yeah, you usually hear, that, oh, people don't read, uh, especially black people don't read. In fact, it is the opposite. I've traveled many places in, in the country where people have formed book clubs in the rural areas and so on from their own initiative and are reading novels in all of our languages. Yeah, yeah. So it is really amazing, you know, this renaissance that is happening now, especially of readers. No, I mean, besides, besides all this work that you're doing and, and, and on the literary side of things, you're also, of course, working on a film from one of your novels, The Whale Caller. Ah, what yeah, made you, you want you, to... You know of that. Of course, we know, we know everything. <laughs> you know everything. We know everything. What, what, what made you decide that this, this should be made into a film? Well, I didn't decide. Uh, Zola Maseko decided. You know, he fell in love with a novel and then uh, he got the rights for it and he has produced a wonderful film. I've seen it already. Actually, I have it in my pocket now, you know, in a, in a, in a flash drive. And it will be released uh, in, in September. Excellent. He commissioned me to write the script, but also he made me his, his co-producer. Yeah. yeah. And you're enjoying it? Oh, very much so. I think he has done brilliant work. Oh, I'm looking so forward to seeing, so seeing that. So that's in September. I mean, yeah. if we look at your list of what you do, you are um, a writer, a painter, yes. an academic, a farmer. Uh, yes. I mean, come on. Where, yeah. I don't know where you get time to farm. A filmmaker, a composer. A compo yeah. I mean, you are the example of somebody using absolutely every part of their, their being to, yeah. to, just, to just be great. Well, you know, for me, art is art is art. I don't have compartments for it. I wake up w one morning, I feel like writing a song, I write a song. I feel like, you know, painting a picture, I paint a picture. So it, it, it just happens like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, some of your works have, have echoed through South Africa for, for decades, and they still do. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just talk about the work of, of the Madonna of Excelsior. Yes. People still relate to this book. They still talk I'm about it. I'm amazed how... Why? I, you know, that story resonates so much. I'm amazed because even today, it is one of the most, I mean, of my novels that people talk about all the time. And it, actually, it's a much older n novel compared to many others that, that I've written, you know. Yeah. So for some reason, it resonates. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, through the generations, you've changed. Um, you yes. know, and your style has changed. But mm. you tell us how it's changed, because I mean, from the days of, as we spoke about the whale caller, which is now being uh, being right. adapted into a form, to your latest works now, mm. um, Little Sons and, and Rachel's Blue. How has your writing changed? Well, you know, the style may change, 
in any case because I do try very hard that each novel should be in a different style. But the voice never changes. I've looked at my earlier work and, and find that it still sounds uh, uh, the same. So the structure, the form may change and in fact has to change because I always want to be innovative which, with each one uh, of the works. Yeah. Yes. Let's, let's see who you enjoy reading. I mean, if you look at some of the authors on the African continent, South African authors, yes. who do you celebrate? Who do you love? Well, you know, there are quite a few writers. There is a young writer in Nigeria called uh, Chinelo Oparanta. Yes. She has only written one novel so far, well, in a collection of, of, of short stories. I think she's, she's, she's wonderful. I, I enjoy her work very much. Yeah. And then, of course, there is uh, Yuvon Vera, although she's, now, she's no longer with us now. She, she died uh, a few years back. But she's a wonderful, wonderful writer. Oh, for, for some reason, it, it is the women writers that uh, I enjoy most. I enjoy. I thank you for that. I really yeah. do. I thank <laughs> yes. you for that. Um, uh, and, and I like you because you're about to... Uh, that is a good introduction into what I'm about to do right now because, okay, yeah. um, Zakes, we've got two very special guests with us this oh, morning. Oh, oh. And, and, and I'm actually going to ask them to come onto set right now. Okay. Um, let me tell you, so I'm going to fill you in. You, you can stay right where you are or, or I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Oh, I see. So right. we have got, it's Take a Girl Child to Work Day. And uh, what's happened, we've got two young ladies. Ah. And, uh, and I do like what Zake said is that he's enjoying the female authors of today. Ah. And they're with us here today. They've been mm. uh, observing since the early hours of this morning. Morning, and I think what a better moment than to meet Zake Samda. Oh. I mean, so these are our young ladies that have come in. They wrote Hello. a letter. Okay, so they wrote a letter. Yes. Um, it, girls, introduce yourselves. They're from Waverley High and ah. they're spending the morning with us. Tell us. Okay, so ah. introduce yourselves. Um, hello, my name is Zamogu Shezwane. Okay, and my name is Tiamu Zianda Mazingu. Fantastic. Yes. Ah. So, so you, you're here mm. and you want to get into media and you've been watching what's been going on. We've only given you, I don't even think you've seen an hour yet. We haven't even been on the air for an ah. hour. What's your impression been like so far? Yes. Um, it's the coolest thing ever. It's the coolest it's thing the ever. the coolest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, it's the, like... <laughs> you no I have no words to describe it. Uh, oh, I'm so excited. How are you feeling? Me, it feels so amazing because, like, uh, it's, it feels like it's a day in my future. I f that's how I feel. Wow. Yeah. Yes, it uh, feels great. I wish I can actually, like, get my metric now and come in right now. But you're in grade 12, right? No, I'm in grade 11. So you're grade 11. You're grade uh. 12. Okay, so, so you're, you're almost there. So you're grade 11. Mm. Don't jump the gun. Zakes tell them they're not allowed to hurry. School is still nice. Yeah. But it seems so yeah. cool here. It is cool here. It I is know. Cool. <laughs> it's waiting for you. You'll be, you'll be here. Exactly. Yes. You see, the, if you're determined to be here, you'll be here. Exactly. The, uh. one, the one little bit of advice we can give you is exactly what Zake says. Uh. This is not going anywhere. This will, be, this will be the same. You're the one who's going to change to come and change this. So yes. Get that education. And, and, and Exactly. We can't wait to keep you with us all morning. <laughs> uh, Zake Subdar, thanks for talking to us. Oh, uh, it's my you great guys, pleasure. I've got you the whole day, so I'm looking so forward to letting uh, you experience so much more in the world of media and journalism. Uh -huh. All right, let's take a quick break. We've got some news at 7 after this. Stay tuned.